Okay, we sort out the communication between pilot and pilots and ATC. We sort out the communication between uh, pilot and cabin crew. And the final part, which is one of the easiest one, is the communication between the pilots and passenger. So, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use one of these, and uh, it's a typical handheld uh, microphone. It's actually can use can be used as uh, as a speaker as well, but I'm gonna use only as a microphone. So you have two ways to push. You can push this and talk, or you can actually push the the, the top one. To be honest, it's simple to to have the one on the side. I don't know why they have one on the top. Maybe some people like to to push this way and and talk. I prefer to do this way and talks. So how does this work? You basically connect this to uh, any any computer, uh, which is connected then to the speakers. And in the computer, you just set up this as microphone, which automatically is done by the Windows. But then you have to go into the option and select. Uh, there is a little icon which says uh, "Listen to this device," and that's for the for the speaker. So what happens is, uh, is that when the computer has the output speaker, and then you connect this as microphone. If you select listen to this device, when you talk to the microphone, then uh, the output to the mic will go to the speaker connected to the same computer. So easily done, uh, I'm gonna demonstrate to you. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen welcome, welcome on board. On this, this is flight, flight Alpha, Alpha simulation, simulation 123. One, two, three. We're gonna, We're gonna start, start boarding very, very soon. soon. Thank, Thank you for, you your, for patience. your patience. So the way it works is actually for testing purposes connected to my laptop. Uh, the output the laptop are two speakers and uh, these act as a microphone normally I just have to take and I'll show you again uh, uh, how this is done now. Um, listen to this device and by doing that you can just talk like that like if you are uh, in the cockpit and then the passenger will listen to what you're saying uh, now, uh, obviously, in the simulator, uh, I'm thinking to connect this to one of the two mini computers that are under the MIP, and then have speaker connected there as well. Uh, but the speaker will be outside the simulator, uh, so when you close the door and you talk on the mic, you are actually hear uh, your muffled voice from outside, and that's what happened in real plane because the pilot doesn't have the speaker inside to hear themselves. But they, when they talk to the passenger, it's the passenger they hear in the the pilot and and not uh, pilot uh, uh, hearing himself. Uh, so very easy. Let's go install this, and I'll show you also what option you need to do in Windows to make this work. And we are back down at the simulator. Right, how did I install my little device over there that allowed me to talk to passengers? So, this is the MIP from Sysmo, and there are two mini PC installed. Uh, in fact, uh, one is under here and one is over there. So this mini PC control basically this display, and the mini PC control the display and, and the lower ACAS. Uh, you can select which one you want to select this one just for uh, practicality. So what I did uh, it's a mini PC So obviously as an audio output I connect the audio output to cable to the mini PC. I ran the cable all along this the pedestal and uh, It went all the way Just making the be extra light all the way here where it says passenger address. So from here I connect my handle device and uh, as you can see it's connected I put a little bit of hook over there just to make sure that the cable doesn't touch the floor it's very easy so it's very um, quite easy to install you just run out your cable the only things you need to do is to ensure that the software uh, the windows in the pc is configured enough um, in a way that the microphone can uh, be used as a microphone and also can be listened to the same device now from the mini pc i also select the one of the usb to connect a speaker as output so let me show you i'm gonna connect uh, actually i'm gonna turn on the pc and we're gonna enter the PC remotely via team viewer and uh, by doing that I can control directly from my main uh, desktop which is much easier and I will show you what uh, you need to do in Windows in order for uh, 
the handheld device to be able to talk as a microphone and hear from the speaker. Hello, okay, so we are uh, at the main computer. This is the computer I use to uh, control the full simulator from. Uh, uh, so first of all, uh, first thing I did, uh, to, I connect with the uh, team viewer to my captain computer. Uh, uh, so if you remember, I chose the captain as the computer is a mini PC and is connected to the Sysmo MAP. So I connect, uh, I install the team viewer there and this is where I control from. It's quite easy to control everything from one computer. And as you can see, we are seeing exactly what uh, the simulator is showing at the moment. So we have uh, the, the first monitor and the second one is showing this. Uh, at the moment, uh, on the first, we just need to close this for a second because we need to access the audio option. So this is the computer, obviously. So I connect the device to this computer and you can see here, if you go here and the sound, actually, let me see if I can make a little bit bigger, I think, uh, scaled. Yes, yes, that's what we want. Okay, so uh, I connect uh, with uh, my device using a USB. Uh, because this PC, I think the other audio was already taken, uh, the, so I use a USB connector to convert into audio, and it comes with these uh, these names. Uh, I don't do anything here. I just want to show you that uh, if it's connected, at least the computer is seeing that there is a device connected. So we go to more volume setting. Uh, okay, and we go down all the way to more sound setting and we have this window and again uh, we need to go to recording because that's where the microphone will shows and double click on your microphone now if you have several microphones, make sure that you select the one that you need to use uh, for me it's this one and what we want to do is to go to listen and this is what you want to take now originally this is unticked and this is the normal uh, uh, standard for Windows and that's because when you connect a microphone you expect that then you have some sort of speaker connected to the PC that goes through uh, uh, an amplifier and so forth so you connect the microphone and you can uh, hear through uh, the speaker because there is an amplifier and everything and there is already a device to do that so, However, what I'm trying to do is to save and buy all the other um, application that I need or all the devices. So what you can do, if you do listen to this device, what happens is that when you talk to the microphone, it goes through the same computer and is using any speaker connected through the computer to give you the output of what you are, uh, basically the sound. Uh, so in a way, uh, you don't have to use any amplifier or any other type of Dolby surround or anything you can just connect a simple speaker as output the handheld device as microphone as input you just do listen to this device and what it means is that when you talk here goes back to the computer and straight into the speaker connected to the same mini pc in fact on my mini pc i do have device connected as microphone and i have a speaker connected as a speaker and then you just do uh, okay obviously uh, you wanna if you wanna change anything I don't remember what this done for but the level or the microphone uh, and so forth and so forth now sometimes uh, you have a little bit of echo uh, for example my microphone gives me some echo and I need to uh, go into some maybe general and try to uh, change some properties or uh, no, maybe no properties, but maybe here I need to tick this. I don't know, but the, there was an area I don't remember, but there is an area where you can actually set some sort of equalizer or thing, things like that, and that will help much better uh, uh, hearing uh, the sound. But anyway, all you need to do is to just tick this button and press OK, and then you press OK again, and you everything is done. Now. So what it means is that you can uh, you can restart then uh, your uh, your obviously display but uh, what it means then is um, uh, now the when you turn on your simulator 
and the main PC it's on uh, you can start talking on the on the handheld device just like I showed you before I was testing it through a laptop but it's exactly the same things in fact when I was testing on the laptop to just to show you during the video uh, I did exactly the same things I connected and I select listen to this device and so forth now the better the speaker you use as output the better you can hear uh, and and again um the only things i cannot show you now is the the way it works uh, very well because the speaker i have a very small speaker for testing but I did not purchase a proper speaker to put outside the, the simulator i need to do that and after all i need to do is to connect the speaker and everything works doing that uh you can just uh talk to any time you want to to the passenger um, I'm just gonna do one more try so I can show you how it's it, it works in the simulator right okay let's uh, give it a test so as you can see that's the computer that was um, um, controlling from a main computer so it, it is connected now what we can do we can pick it up and there are two ways to do this you can uh, either click uh, uh, this or you can click on the top but let's give it a try hello testing one two three one two three testing testing so at the moment uh, you can hear the the click activating uh, it does work uh, but it's a little bit of uh, that uh, the light is not good I don't know how to um, it, it works but it's not perfect because there is a little bit of echo so I need to position the speaker in a, in a better uh, way and also play a little bit with uh, with the configuration some some sort of um, uh, equalizer to remove the egg or something a little need, need to study a little bit better in um, to make it better but it, it works it does uh, work on board this is captain speaking uh, as you can see there is a little bit of echo so i need to remove that but for the rest it works now i connect this one here which can be used by both the captain and the um and the first uh, officer i do have another one and i was thinking to connect uh, maybe somewhere there so the first officer doesn't have to reach all the way here however i found a better way i probably have a good option by using the fsx dual uh, my my headphone uh, uh, already have a microphone in fact this one it is in fact a microphone and I think there is a way that I can connect the microphone to the push to talk on the um, um, on the on the yoke to talk to the for example if you want to talk to Vexim or Red Traffic Controller but there is a way also that uh, you can push to talk and talk directly to the passenger I don't want to do that because I want to leave the push talk to push to talk to the um, for the air traffic control just like in a real plane now. but um, I want to find a way to use the microphone also uh, to talk to the passenger because let's suppose I need to do an emergency or something and I don't have the time to remove my hands from the yokes to reach this one and, and talk to the passenger so I want to do it directly there so that would be something cool to do uh, I'm gonna study once I find the way I will create another video for you guys but until then uh, this is the end of the radio communication thank you so much for uh, uh, following me now the next video is gonna be about uh, the fly simulator multi display support using uh, calibration pro and it's gonna blow your mind guys so you don't wanna miss that I tried, there is no fish eye looking anymore, there is no stretch anymore, it works beautifully, but you need to do a little bit of tweaking. So don't miss the next episode because it's gonna be awesome. Thank you guys, until the next, ciao.